Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to be unboxing three different makeup subscription boxes for the month of April. We've got Ipsy, we've got BoxyCharm, we've got Glossy Box. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's start with Ipsy. This is the cheapest one. It's $10 a month. I have info on prices and links below. So one of the things actually was not in there. It was actually out of the bag. The bag, before we even get to that, the bag feels kind of cheap. This It's like kind of, I don't know, just, I don't love it. I mean, it's kind of cute, but I kind of don't love it. You know, I don't know. I like the colors in it though, I should say. But the first thing that was kind of in it, but outside of it is, I'm like already excited about it. First of all, look at the color. That is so pretty. Um, this is the Luxie Tapered Highlighter Brush. And actually, when I see a brush like this, it's really soft. Um, I like to use it to set my under eye, but I could see how this would actually, you could contour with it, you could highlight with it, obviously, you can get right down your nose. There is so much you can do with this shape of a brush. I'm very excited, and I'm excited that it's soft, and it is so pretty. Like, I want a whole set that looks like this. So that was awesome. Next thing is this Jelly Pong Pong Cosmetics. Blush plus contour. It looks small to have both in there. Let's open this. Oh my, that is tiny. <laughs> I'm trying to think of what brush could fit in there to actually use, but let's swatch them. The contour seems like a perfect contour shade for my skin tone. It wouldn't be perfect for everyone. And the um, blush is pretty. They're, they kick up a lot of powder. I Sorry, I have stains. I can't get the... I just filmed my Sephora Minnie Mouse Collection video and the lip stains, stain, like they won't come off. So should have done the order of these different. Anyway, so really pretty actual powders, but they're gonna be hard to get to. So I don't know, that's kind of a toss up. Next thing is this Moroccan oil treatment. Ooh, I know that, who is it? Someone here on YouTube that I love, loves the Moroccan oil. Boy, I'm just ripping this box to get it open. So yeah, it's just their classic Moroccan oil treatment. I've actually never tried this. I've tried other, smells good, um, treatments. But I like ones that are this size because this is a kind of bottle that shuts well, that if you want to travel with the hair oil, you could always refill this bottle, even if it's a different kind, you know? Um, and you know that it's smaller and it won't, it's not like a pump that's gonna get everywhere. So I'm definitely gonna try that. I like using that kind of thing just in the bottom parts of my hair, because if I get it too high, it just weighs it down. Ooh. This is the Tarte Lip Surgeon's Lip Cream in Wonder. It's a smaller size. Ooh, it's a pretty color though. That is just a really pretty classic kind of deeper rose color. Yeah, and these have that mint smell. And honestly, it's kind of the perfect size because those big ones, I'm like, I've never ever used one of those up ever. So that is pretty freaking sweet, especially for a $10 bag. I mean, this is a high end. Same with Moroccan oil, it's a nice brand. The next, or the last thing in here, is a nail polish I see, and it looks like a pretty spring color. It's the brand Pro Bell Nail Lacquer in the shade In or Out. I like this color, it's kind of that purplish pink. It looks pretty pigmented. I need to repaint my nails so that, that might be my next color. So that's pretty awesome, and that's definitely a full size. So. Honestly, this was one of the best, this might be the best Ipsy I've ever gotten. I love this brush, and it's not like a tiny eye brush that I'm never going to use. Um, I'm very excited about Moroccan oil, which is also kind of expensive. Tarte is expensive. And then this, I just wish it were bigger, but that's pretty awesome. So, wow. I mean, for $10, that was absolutely amazing. Next one is BoxyCharm, which is $21 a month. Let me wipe off this other stuff so I don't have more stains on my hand. So the first thing I'm seeing in here is this Ofra Long Lasting Liquid Lipstick in Pasadena. I have heard amazing things about the, oh wow, it is a deep, it's that, that um, very deep color. It's pretty though, I'll have to try it because I'm curious about how this color will actually look on me, although I think maybe I could pull that off. These have that really nice smell as well, kind of vanilla-y, I love that smell. So definitely excited about that. Next thing in here is this Oh boy, it's that bl brand Blink, and it's their Black Lash Primer. I know that they are known for they have that tubing mascara, and the idea of it really grosses me out. Um, so I can't try I mean, it literally freaks me out. I can't even try it. The idea of it grosses me out. I know that sounds terrible, but if you know what I mean, then you know what I mean. <sighs> anyway, but this is their Black Lash Primer, and I love, I've been getting really into mascara primers lately. Just because they, if it's a good one, it actually works, especially when they're black or dark, so there's no white peeping through. So I will definitely use this. 
definitely. The next thing in here is this Your Mineral Sweden Brown Hypnotic, looks like it's just like a, you know, a mineral something, something. Kind of metal, well, definitely metal. Oh, it's really pretty, oh my gosh. It's this gorgeous, like, light taupe, sparkly mess. It's so pretty, oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. What color is this in again, Hypnotic? This is absolutely stunning. Now, I don't really get into pigments often, but when it's this pretty, are you kidding me? Brown Hypnotic is what it's called. That is absolutely gorgeous. So the next thing in here is a full size something. It's called Ander oh, Anderson Lily Beach Butter Hand Cream in Manhattan Beach. It, this is like big, but it feels like it's not filled. You know what I mean? But I will use this. It's a thicker cream for sure. It just has like a nice clean kind of, um, flowery scent. It smells nice though. So I will definitely use that. I mean, especially like just my arms, I feel like are always dry. So that was pretty awesome. And the last thing in this is the Pure Lease Daily Lip Nourisher. Ooh, they send a lot of Pure Lease things, but it's usually, you know, like a face moisturizer or a face cleanser. So I'm excited to try something for lips from them. It's got mango and shea butter. Ooh, petroleum free. Yeah, and it's just a squeezy too. Ooh. It's kind of glossy almost when you apply it, but it feels really like moisturizing. So that will definitely get you. So out of this, I'm, gosh, this is another good one because I'm really excited about the mineral, which is rare for me. Really excited about the lip thing, the primer, and the lip cream. And then the, the actual like hand cream or whatever, I mean, I'll use it. I'm not super excited about it, but I'll definitely use it. But all of the other ones I'm excited about. So again, another really good box, my goodness. So lastly is Glossy Box. This one is also $21. And info card. <gasps> so first thing in here is a Too Faced product. This is the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick, and it is in the shade Chihuahua. Let us see. So this is not the full full size, but again, this is one of those products you like never use up unless like it's the only thing you own. It looks like it's gonna be similar to that Pasadena color. It is kind of similar. This one's a little more brown though, or maybe a little more like reddish actually it is really pretty and these are a really nice formula I do really like the Too Faced melted li um, liquid lipstick so that will definitely get used that is so exciting next things in here is it two of the exact same thing uh oh wonder if that was an accident or maybe they're just trying to get rid of them <laughs> um, there are two of this this is the Vine Vera Resveratrol skincare what is it though it's like a cream. Is it eye cream? Let me look on the actual thing. It says, laying the foundation of its skincare and the power of resveratrol's anti-aging effects, Vine Vera holds this ingredient at the center of its collections, setting the perfect moisture barrier between your skin and outdoor damage, the day cream. So it's a day cream. Seamlessly protects and hydrates. So maybe it was supposed to come with two. That sounds nice. And again, this is the perfect like little travel size of these. So that's pretty awesome. I might pass the other one on to my sister. Um, so she can try it. There's also a brush in this one. It's that same brand Luxie and it's got the pink and gold and it's an angled one. This is their large angled. Again, you could use it for all the same use as the other one could. I just like the shape of this other one just a little bit better, but they're both good. They're both really soft. So I've got quite a collection of these Luxie brushes now because they come, I swear, every month, but they are nice. The next thing is this. I love mango and papaya. That sounds very sp um, springy. Oh, I just squirted a lot. Okay, I'll just put it on my arm. Oh, it's a very, um, it's got a strong scent. It smells good though. It's definitely like mango and papaya. I like that a lot actually. And it's again, it's just a moisturizer. It feels nice. Doesn't feel like anything extraordinary. Um, and the last thing in here is this Ico. I do EYE. I do liquid eyeliner. Now Ico is known for really good liners. I know. And I've tried a couple of theirs. This one, it's a felt tip, which I like, and I like that it's smaller, you can really get in there, and I use one every day, but it doesn't seem as black as I had hoped. Kind of, it kind of does that thing where it kind of spreads and looks a little more gray than it does black. It's like a Crayola marker. Do you know what I mean? And I don't like that kind of thing. Oh, I've got it everywhere now. Oh my gosh. So, I might, I'll try it for sure. I mean, I'll try anything makeup-wise, but I don't feel, oh my gosh, it's everywhere but I don't feel like this is gonna be one that I absolutely love, like as much as my Stila Stay All Day one that I love. So all in all, all three boxes were pretty good. I mean, 
I don't think, Glossy Box, I can't, this is awesome. And the rest of the stuff, I mean, it's okay. So I feel like out of all of them, Glossy Box didn't impress me as much other than this. Um, but Boxy Charm and Ipsy are both amazing this month. So someone I was, you know, I read your guys' comments and a couple people were commenting on my last one in March saying, you know, they feel like, you know, each company will have like a really amazing month and then like kind of a crummy month and then an amazing month just to keep people like wanting to subscribe. And I'm like, that's kind of an interesting thought because you'll have like a bad month and you're like, man, like why am I subscribed to this? But then the next month will be amazing. And so if you cancel, you'd see, oh, the next month was amazing. Now I don't want to cancel, you know? So it's kind of one of those like psychological things. I'm like, do they do that on purpose? I wonder, maybe not. You'd like to assume the best that they don't, but it does kind of make you wonder because it does kind of feel like it has those hills and valleys. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, so hopefully this was enjoyable and informative for you guys. If you are interested in more subscription box unboxings, I know I just did a FabFitFun one, which is always fun. That, that box is like crazy. It's got too many amazing things. Actually, this necklace that I'm wearing here, I bought with a gift card that came in a FabFitFun. Um, I can link that video below. I am getting the swatches in my hair. Like, it's everywhere. I need to go wash my hands, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!